Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for writing to our live session. And I'm really sorry to hear about what you're going through with your mother-in-law. It's a difficult um, situation and way to live, most definitely. Um, it sounds like she may have mental health issues, um, especially because she lies and makes up stories and she steals and, um, you know, she does other things that are haram and um, kind of out of the ordinary, right? <laughs> Um, it could be, you know, that she does have a mental health problem that is either diagnosed a long time ago and not really addressed or it is not diagnosed yet. Um, however, the situation that you are in is that, you know, she's started stealing from you. Um, other relatives have also accused her of, of stealing from them. Um, when confronted, she plays the victim. So this is nothing new. In, in the family, right? Um, I'm, you're wondering whether you should tell your husband, but you're afraid of his, you know, not wanting to believe you. But however, it sounds like this has been a pattern for a very long time. It sounds like other family members have been victim of her actions and confronted her. So it's like, it's not a secret that there's something going on, right? And if you told your husband it's not like he shouldn't believe you because there's there's other proofs, right? There's other people in the family that she's done this to and they've confronted her. So it's not it's not like you're just coming into the family and all of a sudden accusing her of, of stealing from you, right? It's not like this is something new. So sister, I kindly advise you, you know, it's number one, show mercy because if she does have a mental illness, you know, this behavior while haram and needs to be stopped, um, may or may not be within her control at this moment, right? Because we don't know what's going on with her um, mental health. That's number one. Number two, um, I would kindly suggest when things are calm to do sit down with your husband in a very loving way and just, you know, tell him your concerns, you know, so say, you know, I'm really worried about um, your mom or if you call her mom, you know, my mom, I'm really worried about her because, you know, her behavior's seem like, you know, maybe she's depressed or maybe she has anxiety or she's angry. And I noticed that she, you know, she stole something out of my purse. You know, talk to him in a way that is supportive, right? Because I'm sure that you would like to see your, your mother-in-law um, get some help um, with her problems and if she has any mental health issues. I'm sure you'd like to see her get some help. So inshallah, the best way is just to confide in your husband in a most loving way and ask how how can this, you know, situation be resolved? How can his mom get some help? And is there any suggestions he has, you know, that may have worked for him or other members of the family to help deal with her, her behaviors? If you approach it like that, sister, inshallah, your husband will receive it in a loving way. And together, the two of you may be able to come up with a doable solution and to resolve this problem with, with his mom. And, you know, hopefully, inshallah, um, he'll be open and she'll be open um, to go perhaps for counseling and assessment um, to see really what's going on, right? Because, um, you know, people who do those kinds of things, um, you know, she may be depressed, she may be angry, she may be have a personality disorder, she may have, you know, anything, you know, that you just don't know. So, inshallah, speak with your husband. Um, perhaps a, the two of you in a loving and supportive way can come up with a few ideas to address the situation so it's not confrontational for her and so that she will, inshallah, you know, agree to get some help. We wish you the best.